All right, um, time now for the lead, brought to you by Grand Prix Motorsports. If you are looking for the original motorcycle, talking about the Indian motorcycle, head down to Grand Prix Motorsports. They're located off of County Line Road and... Jennifer! All right, everybody poked fun at Daxter Miles Jr. over the last couple of days yeah. for making this prediction saying, you know, all the props to Kentucky, 36 and 0, <laughs> and we're gonna make them 36 and 1. <laughs> I just did you see his line score? Yeah, it was awful. Over three, right? No points. Yeah. No assists. <laughs> one rebound, and he missed both of his free throws. Wow. Other than that. Other yeah. than that, he was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't whether the kid made the prediction or not, I don't think any reasonable person would have said West Virginia was going to right. beat Kentucky. Right, right, right. But do you think the thirty nine point win, that type of margin had anything to do with that prediction. I mean, I hate to say it, but maybe. I mean, I, I've, I've covered a lot of sports over the years. We all have. I mean, these college kids, they're motivated by the weirdest things. Like, you would think, like, winning the national championship would motivate them. I mean, it does. Don't get me wrong. But when somebody personally attacks you like that, someone of your level, another a fellow player, you're like, I'm going to show this dude. I'm Absolutely. This dude. Absolutely. And they said as much afterward that they played with their best energy, their motivation, their hustle. They, they executed everything Calipari had said. Because they've been, let's be honest, their first couple games of this tournament have been a little sluggish. Sure. They're hard. To, it's hard to get motivated when you know you're going to win. And this kid who they're saying now that maybe Bob Huggins put it up, put him up to it to kind of motivate West Virginia yeah. to create this. I don't know. I feel for the kid because I said yesterday I love his confidence. Right message, wrong messenger. Right. He was not the guy to taunt Kentucky. Right. And he used the word intimidated, Ben. Yeah. It wasn't intimidated. The only thing Kentucky could be at some point in this tournament is tight. Yeah. When you can feel history. They're not but they came out and what was it, thirty three to eleven? During yeah. the national anthem. It, was, it was absolutely <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah. I mean I it just but it was the ultimate poke the bear. Right. Why would you poke this bear? Yeah. We're gonna press him, we're gonna show him like, really? Yeah. West Virginia? And the and the the flip of it, and I believe we talked about it earlier in this week on, on the show, is the idea of like, normally the person doing that is Joe Namath, the quarterback, yeah, right, or the best player who, like, that's right, you made a great point yesterday about who can control the game. Daxter Miles Jr., who yeah. I didn't know if he was Daxter Miles' son or if he was Daxter Miles, a junior student at Just, West Virginia. I didn't know which one it was. Uh, I mean, so on one hand, you'd be like, oh, he shouldn't be saying that. On the other hand, like, who cares what this random guy is saying? Right. Clearly, Kentucky took it and ran. Let me reiterate. I don't think West Virginia was going to win the game. Right. But watching this game... It just seemed to me that the refs had an agenda mm. against, and I'm not one of those guys that blames the refs. Okay. Their agenda was we were not going to allow this to be a physical game whatsoever. Right. West Virginia plays a very physical style of ball. If you watch the game prior to that, the refs let those guys play. Oh, yeah. Interestingly enough, in the following game, West Virginia against Kentucky, they didn't let them play at all, and it was just ugly basketball. Hmm. On that first fall that I saw yeah. on West Virginia, yeah. I knew West Virginia certainly wasn't going to win, right, but, right, but yeah. this could get ugly real fast. Here's a stat for you. I heard driving in this morning, I believe it was on ESPN Radio, but the fact that 160 minutes of college basketball last night, 152 fouls. Wow. It became the ref show. Yeah. And the problem with that is I agree with you can't play the victim. Oh, it's the ref, it's the umpire, right. you know, it's the co you know, that is a very it's a loser's mentality to always blame them. But the problem that fans have, I believe, and maybe to degree to some players, Ben, is the fact that it's not called the same way during the season. Right. right. Exactly. By rule, you can say that's yeah. a foul. Yeah, but you don't call that for thirty games. Right. Now the spotlight's on. No one's there to watch the refs. Right. It's the same issue I get into with umpires. Mm -hmm. It's it becomes the ump show sometimes in baseball right. no one's there to see the umpire yeah. the best ones are invisible like offensive linemen yeah. all right so that was the lead brought to you by grand prix motorsports if you're looking for the original motorcycle hey. talking about the indian motorcycle who's this guy there's <laughs> our buddy jeff jeff on his indian classic and he got it at grand prix motorsports located right off of county line and santa fe you know what? You sounded like a Yom Kippur chauffeur. I did. That's what I was going for. Yom Kippur uh, chauffeur. Wait. Takiya. Takiya. You know.
a horn. It's a, uh, <laughs> you, they it's blow a ram's the sofa. Horn. Ram's horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I needed to show you. Yeah. Uh, Grumman yell to Kia Gadola because that's going to end the whole. The whole that's going to end the whole service. Then after fasting all day, we can go eat. That's right. In the, in the Jewish tradition, which you all know about, uh, Yom Kippur, <laughs> you take 24 hours, you don't eat. And then at that, the, the 24 and one second, suddenly everyone's stuffing their face.